This is probably the accessory I had the most fun with in the past weeks. It's the Pixapro Optical Snoot. I've noticed on my Instagram lately I've been sharing a lot of portraits and no I'm not quitting dance photography I'm still photographing performers it's just that since the COVID situation that started last year I've decided to develop my skills in work that I don't do often I usually work on location I use strobes to light my subjects and I you know, I like to play with my environment. So to shake things up, I decided to work at home, like in a studio environment, in my tiny home studio. I decided to use continuous lights with my strobes, to play with colors, to use backdrops, and of course, to shape my light a little bit more. And this is where the optical snoot comes in, this thing right here. I have only scratched the surface with this tool, but I believe that I have enough experience right now to already share my experience with it. And of course, you know, you will probably see it in future behind the scenes videos. And talking about future videos, I'm currently preparing a series of videos about portraiture, how to make portraits, simple and effective portraits in tiny spaces, whether it's at home or on location, whether you have a tiny budget or a larger one. We will talk about different techniques, different setups, the lights that I use, the backdrops that I'm currently using, and so on. But now, back to our optical snoot. What's the deal with this? To put it simply, you attach this to your strobe. This is the balance mount version. So you attach this to any balance mount flash. I also have the bronze color adapter to, of course, attach it to a bronze color light. And on the other end, you attach a lens. Here I'm attaching an EF lens, the Canon 50 millimeter lens, which for me is the perfect focal length for the space that I have. Wide aperture lenses are recommended with this optical snoot because obviously they let a little bit more light out. And for the strobes, it's also recommended to use powerful strobes. I'm currently using the Broncolor Cirrus L 800 watts and also the Godox 8600 Pro. And you may have guessed it, the lens attached to the optical snoot will help you focus your light. The focus ring will make the edges of your shape sharper or blurrier. More blurry. You got it. You may have seen me trying to make create shapes with a Fresnel and its barn doors in my previous, in previous behind the scenes videos that I posted on this channel. Well, with the optical snoot, it is easier to do. Now you may ask yourself, how do I actually make shapes with it? And what kind of shapes can I make with it? Well, here they are. They are called gobos. And these are some of the shapes that you can make with the optical snoot. So now you take the gobo that you like, the shape that you like, you insert it in this little tiny space and the shape will be projected on the wall or on your backdrop or on your subject on whatever you like.
here are a few examples. Here are some of my favorite shapes projected on my backdrop. Now think about all the options, all the creative options that you have with this optical snoot and how you can take, for example, your portraits, you know, a little further. The next step for me with this thing is to, yeah, probably take it with me on a bigger project on location. Let's hope that this happens soon. It is very well built and it's not that expensive. And there are different mounting options. You can put different lenses on this. If you wanna know all the different options, I invite you to visit their website. All the links will be in the description box below. I always have a hard time trying to say this. In the description box below, that was my cat. So in conclusion, it's not a surprise, I really love this tool. So be prepared, you will most likely see it often in my feed in the weeks to come. So tell us, what tricks, what tools, what gear do you use to spice up your portraits, do you already use a, an optical snoot? Tell us in the comments below. I will probably share some of the full sessions of the images that you just saw. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and please have a good one. Wide aperture lenses are recommended with this optical snoot because they let a little bit more light out. Oh, 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 oh,